My name is Amber and I'm from Amber's family of four here on YouTube and I was so excited that uh, Kimmy started this whole Working Mama Wednesday series because I am in fact a working mom and I really really wanted to be a part of this series because I feel like I have a little something to say about what it's like being a working mom and I just kind of wanted to give my opinion. So to give a quick background I have been a working mom kind of off and on. I've worked part-time, I've worked full-time. There have been times where I took breaks and I didn't work at all. But for the most part, I have had a job constantly since I was 15 years old. I've always been a person who really enjoys working. I never pictured myself being a stay-at-home mom. I never even wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. Now, there was a period of time where I was a stay-at-home mom just for a short while. I actually worked in a medical clinic for six and a half years and I got let go, but I just decided to make the most of it and take a little break from working. My husband, of course, was working at the time and we had enough money to be okay. So I just wanted to kind of stay at home for a little while. Now my kids were older. I still wanted to be a stay at home mom and be there when they got off the school bus in the afternoon. I didn't want to have to worry about putting them in after school care anywhere. Um, so I just wanted to see what it was like to be a stay at home mom and just take the time and think and reflect on what it is that I wanted to do for the rest of my life because I didn't feel like working in a medical clinic at the front desk was the way I wanted to spend the rest of my life. So I stayed at home and I don't remember how long that lasted, maybe like a year and a half, but I stayed at home with the boys and I ended up loving it. I mean, who would have thought? Like I said, I was a person who never wanted to stay at home. I just, I didn't like that. Work was kind of my break for my kids. And you know, as you moms know, we need a break from our kids once in a while. And me going to work every day was kind of my break for my kids. And plus I really enjoy working. After I took a year or so just to stay at home, I decided that I wanted to go back to school. I decided to do it online. And then that way I could be at home with the kids still when they got home and I was getting something accomplished. And my passion has always been to be a social worker. Not exactly sure, sure what field I want to go in, but I'm thinking Child Protective Services. So I've been going to school. I only have like a year and a half to two years left now to finish. But in the meantime, I was just a stay-at-home mom. Loved it. Loved it so much. But, but after doing it for a while, I realized that I do miss working. So I started back working just as a substitute teacher here in my city and that worked out perfectly because when the kids got out of school I got out of the school at the same time and so we were all home at the same time and being a substitute teacher you're kind of able to make your own schedule so if they call you to sub one day and you don't want to or you can't you don't have to so that was basically like a part-time job and that was working out perfectly I had the same hours as the kids it's, it was just perfect but I ended up deciding I wanted something more steady. I don't know, something about the part-time thing wasn't enough for me. What can I say? Maybe I'm a little bit of a workaholic, I don't know. So anyway, at the high school in my city, where of course I was subbing from time to time, they ended up having a full-time position come open in the in-school suspension room. So of course I applied for the job and I got it. So now I'm working full-time as an in-school suspension instructor or ISS for short. I have the handful that are the most rude and disrespectful kids of the school. They're getting kicked out of their classroom and coming down to ISS. Fortunately, I have one of those personality types that is able to handle them. So it works out pretty good. So I don't know, I, obviously it is meant for me to be a social worker. About the time that I am getting off of work at the high school, the kids have already got out of school. And so we're all making it home about the same time. So I'm still home by 3.45 every afternoon, which is perfect. And what also is awesome about it is when the kids are out of school for the whole summer, I get a whole summer off and still getting paid for it. Also, a whole week during spring break, a whole week for Thanksgiving, I mean, you just can't beat it. So I'm getting all this extra time off, tons of vacation time basically, and relaxation and still getting paid for it. And when I am working, I'm getting home about the same time the kids are. So that's my current situation. I love working full time. I probably don't necessarily have to. My husband works full time. He works very long hours. So I could probably just work part time and do my school full time. You know, a lot of people are like, well, if you could, why not just do that? But I mean, I like the extra money and I love working and when I become a social worker, there really isn't a part-time social worker. There's just not hardly such thing as a part-time social worker. So the field that I'm planning on going into permanently and make a full-time career out of for the rest of my life 
is a full-time position anyway. And like I said, I've been working full-time for so many years and so I don't know. I just, I really enjoy it. I've been doing it for a long time. A lot of people wonder if you should even bother staying at home with your kids once they're older. I have two boys. Isaac, who is 13 and is in eighth grade and will be at the high school next year with me. And I have an 11 year old, Andre, who is in the fifth grade and will be starting middle school next year. Mm. So people wonder, should you even bother staying at home with them? Well, I don't know. I mean, everyone has their own opinion about this. I would like to know other people's opinion. Other moms out there that are working moms that have older kids, you know, what do y'all think? I see the pros and cons in doing both. Um, if you stay home with your kids, again, you're home when they get home from school. They don't have the opportunity to be as sneaky and into stuff when they get home because if they're to the age where they can come home and stay after school for a few hours until you got home from work, there's always those few hours they could be into stuff or being sneaky or whatever. I can totally see staying at home with older kids. I could also see just working part-time because if you worked part-time and just worked a few hours a day, you'd still be home with them. But in my current situation, like I said, I am home by the time they get home. It really is a blessing. Now, when I get to be a social worker and that career starts for me, it's gonna be different because there are gonna be those few hours where they're home and I'm not home. Of course, by that time, they're gonna be even older. So of course, they'd be staying home by themselves. And I do trust my kids. Uh, knock on wood so far so good they're really good kids I don't see a problem with uh, working either if it's something that you like to do as long as you're spending time with your kids and finding time for them I feel like working has always been a part of who I am it's like I was meant to work and I really enjoy working I just wanted to give my take on working and working full-time and what it's like working full-time with older kids. Like I said, I see no problem with it. My kids are fine and our family's fine. Yeah, so that's kind of my story in a nutshell. I talk too much and ramble too much and I really could give y'all another 30 minutes worth of details, but I won't do that to y'all. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and if you're interested in making a video on what it's like being a working mom, then submit a video to Kimmy. Um, all her contact information is down below and you can just email her and let her know that you're interested. And thank you so much, Kimmy, for letting me be a part of this Working Mama Wednesday. So stay tuned and y'all will be able to see more videos in this Working Mama Wednesday collab series. And I guess that is all for now. So I will just see y'all guys later, hopefully. Bye. One of these for um, Valentine's Day from her papa and she thought it was the funniest thing ever. So we picked her up one of those. Um, moving with my eclectic theme, my child also is obsessed with Star Wars. So we got her this little BB-8 